10 times the world actually almost ended. It's not the end of the world as we know it, or is it? Throughout human history, social order, war, and natural disasters have pushed human beings to the brink of thinking. Is this really how it all ends? We hope not. We share the top 10 moments in history where we all thought the planet and life as we know it was toast. Number 1. The Bonilla Comet Imagine that you're looking up at the sky like any good astronomer would be doing when you see a massive chunk of rock hurtling right toward the planet you call home. Scary? You bet. Jose Bonilla had that moment in 1883 when he saw the large comet breaking up between Earth and the Sun. How bad would it have been if it hit? It would have been similar to another cosmic event called Tungusta in 1908, which burst into the atmosphere about 10 kilometers above Russia and destroyed 770 miles of forest in a single impact. Imagine that happening over a major city. No thanks. Number 2. The Lackey Volcano can one volcano trigger a series of events that would make humankind extinct? The Lackey Volcano is located in Iceland, which is also known as a ground zero for some of the most cataclysmic eruptions in human history. From 1773 to 1774, the massive mountain spewed thick smoke, magma, and toxic sulfur dioxide for a period of eight months, blocking the sun and dropping global temperature levels. The poisonous gas decimated crops in Europe. Combined with a drought in India as a result of temperature change killed an estimated 6 million people, making it the deadliest volcano in history. Number 3. The Blown Fuse could a blown fuse have actually ended the world? In the 1950s, the United States Air Force constructed a network of early warning radar to protect themselves against an attack from the Soviet Union. On November 24, 1961, the communication device responsible for providing instructions to the Strategic Air Command in Nebraska went dead when the backup phones didn't work and NORAD didn't pick up. The assumption was that the Soviet had started a nuclear attack. For a period of 12 minutes, the world hung in the balance until a B-52 was able to confirm that the USA was in fact still there. The communication device responsible had blown a fuse. Number 4. A chip that launched a thousand bombs. Almost. Technology isn't flawless. But when it comes to military devices in the early 1980s, they were anything but perfect. On June 3, 1980, a malfunctioning computer chip read two incoming missiles and reported 220 incoming missiles to NORAD. Bombers were armed, nuclear warheads were pointed, and the big bosses were woken up. Before anyone fired, however, a technician realized that the radar was not corresponding with the report and everyone returned to DEFCON 0. The man responsible for turning the doomsday clock back was a Russian named Colonel Stanislav Petrov. Number 5. The Ebola Virus There are a few viruses in the world that are as easily transmitted or as deadly as the Ebola virus. While the virus has been documented since 1976, originating in Africa, the most recent outbreak happened in 2014 and 2015 in Liberia and Sierra Leone. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention mapped the infection rate and its rapid spread and estimated that 1.4 million people were immediately at risk. If those people had contracted the virus, an uncontrollable global pandemic was imminent. Luckily, the World Health Organization and other agencies were able to isolate and contain the outbreak. Number 6. The Cuban Missile Crisis Have you ever seen two really large guys stand nose to nose for a fight and thought, no one is going to win? That's what the Cuban Missile Crisis was like for the United States and Cuba, who after strained political terms had a ticking doomsday clock. The U.S. failed to overthrow Cuba's communist dictator Castro, and then Castro signed a military deal with Russia that threatened the United States, placing Soviet missiles within range for the first time of land-to-land -land nuclear attack. By the time it was all over, neither country pulled the trigger, but the USA made it illegal for Americans to enjoy all-inclusive resort vacations in Cuba, or really good cigars. Number 7. The Spanish Flu Next time you say, it's just the flu, keep in mind that the flu has killed millions over the course of human history. In 1918 and during World War I, as America shipped military personnel all over the world, a violent HN1 flu pandemic called the Spanish flu took hold. The symptoms involved more than a few sniffles and included bleeding from the ears and fever. It is estimated that about 1 million people perished every week around the world and mass graves and cremations were common. And a vaccine 
vaccine was quickly developed. Your yearly flu shot is really not so bad, right? Number 8. The atom bomb. Nothing says, let's end the war, than designing, building, and then testing the largest bomb in the history of the world. That is what happened in 1945 when the atomic bomb was used for the first time, dropped by the U.S. Air Force on Japan. Japan was in the process of surrendering at the time, but other countries, including Russia, were rumored to be developing their own version of the bomb. America beat everyone else to it and demonstrated the full might of the destruction in Japan. Both Russia and the United States has their fingers on the trigger, and the doomsday clock reached a terrifying 7 minutes to midnight before arms were lowered and the World War II was ended. Number 9. Algae Apocalypse Could something microscopic really end life as we know it? A geobiologist named Joe Kirschwing has been studying the mutated growth rate of certain types of algae present on rocks, in soil, and in water. Diatoms are a specific family of algae that are particularly aggressive in their photosynthesis. They can, in large numbers, dramatically alter the atmosphere and rob essential nutrients like iron and hydrogen from our planet. Reproducing prolifically, the algae also expels chlorine gas, which is deadly to humans and animals. Number 10. When Zane left One Direction What? If you were under the age of 16, March 25, 2015 was almost the end of the world when pop singer Zayn Malik left One Direction. Don't believe us? Ask anyone. Wow, can you imagine the world came so close to an end? Did you experience any of these? Give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe.